is investing in financial instruments equivalent to gambling? And if yes, <laughs> then should Christians be involved or associated? Well, it's a, that's a loaded question in many respects. Um, at some level, every financial instru instrument has risk. Uh, the buying a, we call a treasury bill, uh, has some risk. But most people would say very, very, very little. A treasury bill is a, an IOU, a promise to pay issued by the United States government. Most people think the United States government will pay their debts. But because they pay their debts, you get a very small interest rate. There's, and if you want to get more than the interest rate that the United States government's paying, you have to take more risk. And um, that's just the finance. That's just the world of finance. There should always be a relationship between risk and return. If you take more risk, you're probably going to get more return. Is that gambling? At some level, it's gambling. I think it's a bit of an exaggeration to say that that's gambling because if, and when I do it, with my family, we will buy different types of investments, trying to save the future, have money to pay for children's education. You buy different investments, and some are uh, conservative, and some are maybe more aggressive. Um, and there are some that are very aggressive, and you're taking a chance. Um, I don't think it's, it is gambling at a level, but if you're saying from a maybe a theological standpoint that somehow that is improper sort of sinful behavior I think it depends on where you are in life if you have and, and most good financial advisors will always say you should look at all of the money you have to invest and invest it in it with a, some conservative some more aggressive and the more aggressive the investment is the more risk you're taking can you afford to lose it I think it would be a horrible thing for a father, a family, to take their hard-earned savings and put it into a very risky investment, and they lose it all, and now the family has a hardship. So you should be prepared to lose investment if you're going to take a lot of risk. But we exercise some amount of caution as well. Oh, completely. But I, I think so, you really have to look at the circumstance and, and what your responsibilities are. Mm -hmm. I think you can take, um, risk um, without uh, sort of crossing the line of appropriateness as long as you have otherwise taken care of some of your other responsibilities because if you're successful in taking some of those risks you will have more resources uh, and you can do more with more resources some people are very good at making money and maybe their best uh, gift to the kingdom is actually storing up treasures in heaven and supporting ministry work as you know, maybe someone who's very good at making investments, they might be able to donate a lot, which is far more valuable than their time. So, uh, so I think that there's a place for uh, those risky investments.